it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, this will be my Riverdale Season 6 Episode 11 called Angels in America Spoiler Review. Uh, I just got done watching the episode, guys, and what a crazy episode. Um, I really loved this episode because, you know, previously when we saw... Um, you know, this week's episode and the next week's episode for this week, I was like, oh my god, this is interesting. Tabitha has the ability to go forward and go back in time. So she has time travel capabilities. And I was like, that's freaking amazing. How are they going to do that? And I was like, they're really going full on comic book. But I also thought to myself, how is that possible? Because as we know, she wasn't in the blast um, at Archie's place, you know, we know Betty, we know Archie was, and we know Jughead was, but she was nowhere near the place, but I guess, um, you know, they kind of explained in this episode, maybe it's because of, you know, it was, it, like, uh, it was, like, the, uh, like, the, the shock of what happened is what, you know, manifested her abilities, like, that's when they started manifesting, same as how Cheryl, she's went through so much trauma, that's when her powers manifested, and we see a little bit more of that in this episode because, you know, we start off this episode where we see Parzival pretty much, you know, talking to Alice on Alice's kind of like news thing. Like she like she broadcasts because, like, you know, we know Alice is like a reporter or something. So, you know, she's on this, uh, you know, Riverdale's like uh, version of like a talk show. And, you know, Parzival's plan is that, you know, he wants to uh, open up a. Uh, Oh, open up a railroad that's going to be going through the heart of Riverdale, but, you know, the, 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 the to bring in more uh, jobs and stuff to Riverdale and to bring more, you know, publicity to Riverdale, I guess, and, you know, but the, 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 the upside for him doing that is that he's going to be taking down Pop's Chocolate Shop so they can do that, and they explain why he's really going after Pop's Chocolate Shop because I guess this is the final step of his plan to really set in set in stone his winning of, you know, because as we know from last week's episode, Archie lost against Parzival, which I still think is bullshit. It makes no sense that he got his ass kicked, even regardless. It's not kryptonite where, you know, it's around you, you fall to your knees, you can't fight. Archie still has technique, like I said from last week's episode, that he should have been able to beat Parzival, regardless of him doing school, boxing, or whatever. Archie's been beaten the biggest and baddest people we've seen in Riverdale before. I just don't buy it where it's like, oh, I don't know where he just loses all technique. That's just crappy writing, I thought, on the writer's behalf. But they need to do it in the story, I guess, to make make you know Archie down in the dumps and make, make him not want to, like... Make him afraid to like go out against Parzival because he knows he might have Palladium, especially after we know um, about Betty telling Archie and Jughead, oh, you know, I, I do re vaguely remember Parzival coming in my room and kind of, you know, like told them that she gave up um, Archie's weakness, which again, I, it's crappy writing that they wouldn't have just destroyed that last piece of Palladium, but they didn't. So Archie right now is trying to lay low, but also Tabitha is trying to get allies to gather, to get everybody together to defend Pop's Chocolate Shop and, and, and make it so it can't be bull, bulldozed and make it, you know, so Parzival can't make the railroad like going through the heart of Riverdale because it is makes sense that Pop's is the heart and soul of Riverdale, Pop's Chocolate Shop. Like, that is the heart and soul of Riverdale. That's that place represents everybody coming together and everybody looking like you know watching after one another and like in and, and symbolizes hope in the heart of riverdale and is that one symbol of light in in the heart of riverdale it is the heart of riverdale and i love the story that we go on because you know that you know we we, we see you know tabitha pretty much you know trying to gather everybody together to try to save river like try to save pop's chocolate shop Archie doesn't want to do it because he wants to stay low because he doesn't know what to do about Parzival having, you know, the Palladium. Um, but, you know, she, he doesn't exploit... I think he explains it to Tabitha, at least I think. But we, we get a point in the episode where, like, Tabitha, you know, says to Jughead, oh, well, how, were, how did you read my mind or whatever. But there they had a moment when, you know, he first knew he was able to do that. So that's why I was kind of like, I thought you knew that. I don't know. And did anybody else pick that up where it's like she forgot that about Jughead's abilities, that made no sense to me, when, you know, she, they had a moment, and, like, when, when Jughead finally, like, when he heard Tabitha's thoughts before she said them, and remember, like, she was like, oh my god, and I, th I thought that Jughead told her, you know, Tabitha about his abilities, but I guess he didn't, that's what it sounds like, and he had to, ex and then he, he had to explain about Archie, Betty, and Cheryl, and I'm like, you just had a conversation about Archie, about Palladium and stuff, and about all that. Like, I'm so confused here. 
So I don't know. I feel like the writers are missing are messing up a lot because it's like not making any sense. Um, but you know, she goes to Cheryl, and then that you know she notices Cheryl has like it's very cold inside Thornhill, Thornhill, and we all know why because you know since Cheryl has you know the fire starting abilities, you know she needs to keep cool so that way she doesn't like you know just you know ignite like you know what I mean and just you know ignite herself. So I guess she's still trying to learn how to you know control her abilities, and hopefully soon she won't have to like make it that cold where like that's what will keep her from you know you know igniting. Um, but we'll probably get more explanation of that, or maybe she has to keep at low temp so she stays, you know, cool, and, or, and so she doesn't, you know, ignite, I don't know, but, you know, that's just very interesting to me that, you know, we're seeing Cheryl kind of do that on the side, but, you know, tap, but, you know, she turns down, well, she says she's okay with helping Tabitha out, but she's also trying to learn how to, you know, hone her abilities first, it seems like, that's what her excuse is, and, of course, Veronica's like, you know, why don't you just take the money from Parzival and just build a new establishment or, you know, hell, I mean, your, your pops, you know, your little pop mini bar is doing very well here in, in, uh, Babylonium. So why don't you just keep work, work here or whatever, or like build something close to here or something. I'm like, don't you understand Veronica that like, you know, I mean, what if that was your place? Would you want to just lay down and, and let somebody buy your place and move somewhere else when there's a lot of history there? I just found it weird and at a place that Veronica would kind of agree in a way with about what Parzival is trying to do, especially how she knows how much sh how shady Parzival is and, and wanting, you know, and wanting, you know, uh, Tabitha to sell Pop's Chocolate Shop to Parzival. She shouldn't want her friend to do that, especially that's a special place for you, Veronica. I mean, you, you know what I mean? Like, Veronica knows how special that place is. She's had her entire high school life there around Pop's Chocolate Shop. So I just found that very odd that Veronica was kind of, like, saying, like, kind of trying to convince Tapta to just, you know, take up on Parzival's offer when she should know Parzival is doing shady shit. I mean, she, hell, Parzival tried turning Veronica on, uh, you know, Tony and in Tabitha in the last episode, I just thought that was very weird, and out of the character, I was like, that just is stupid to me, but, you know, pretty much, at the, at the, like, no one's willing to help, except Jughead, you know, hears, again, you know, what, uh, Tabitha, you know, how Tabitha's saying, that you know, no one, you know, wants to, you know, like, no one, you know, wants to gather, and, you know, try to, you know, protect Pop's chocolate shop from being closed down, he hears that, of course, and then that's what he's like, oh, how did you hear what I was about to say, how'd you do that, and then that's when he explains about Archie, Betty, and Cheryl, and what, and what, and them having their powers, and then being all connected to the blast, and she's like, how am I, how do I have these, like, you know, she's like, oh, that's, you know, interesting, or whatever, and, you know, they're doing, yeah, backlogging to all, like, to make, uh, you know, Jughead has this idea of, like, pretty much making Pop's chocolate shop, uh, uh, like a, a landmark and them doing that you know they go back to asking pops if there's any things that can make it a landmark like any proof that makes this pop chocolate shop like a symbol of like a landmark so they mean that something historical has happened here so they can make it a landmark so they look back and all the past photos and stuff and they have a green book um that pop's chocolate shop was in and they're pretty much having this like uh you know looking back at the history and trying to get proof of some historical events that have happened here to make it a landmark and they find a lot of the a lot of the historic moments that have happened in river at pop chocolate shop in riverdale but then of course parzival is not having it and is talking to kevin which kevin is still mind controlled and you know is is kind of like a minion for parzival at this point and they're trying to figure out the way to get you know uh you know Tabitha to get Tabitha pretty much out of the way and with and what of course Parzival resolves re results to is ha getting one of his one of his uh, minions to go and go try to kill Tabitha while Jughead and, and Tabitha are pretty much you know looking at stuff to trying to make you know pops you know chocolate chop uh you know historical landmark the dude comes in almost shoots Tabitha and then we cut to black and we cut to commercial and this has happened throughout this entire episode where like she, when she's about to like die or something's about to happen it, it just cuts the black and they use those opportunities the the writers and stuff and the people that make the show to to go straight to commercial which kind of takes all of the the expense out like oh my god what's about to happen out and we and we go through all different sorts of you know uh, of historical events that have happened around riverdale and or even happened around the world that you know but mainly historical events that really hone in on stuff that's happened at pop's chocolate shop so you know the we, we get the death of martin luther king or like the night before martin luther king's death which really hit me hard because i find it very hard to watch movies like that that you know like that that, that talk about the history of how 
how bad and, and racism still goes on in today's society but like how bad it was back then it, it just it makes me sick to my stomach to know that people are like that in the world and it was and it's still bad now but it, i would say it was even worse then and it's still terrible now but like to, to know that like and we, and we get insight of like you know well tabitha's trying to figure out what the hell just happened you know what i mean and we get insight of how tabitha had a guardian angel which is named Raphael, and we've had that one dude that popped up at pop chocolate shop talking to tabitha and tabitha's like oh my god is your name Raphael or whatever because she, she kind of kind of had like a weird feeling that maybe it was a guardian angel or something because it kind of hinted towards that and realizes like oh my god is like is, is this like you know my my calling am i supposed to find my uh, my reason of like like of of w why i'm why i'm so tied in into you know uh, into parzival wanting to take out you know pops and stuff and wanting to take me down and she kind of finds out why he wants to do that because we see i don't know if it's like they kind of explain that it's like parzival taking new identities throughout the years of of riverdale which was very interesting to me it's like that he just wants to see riverdale burn and wants to be this menace throughout this these these years of he, of him being in riverdale underneath this underneath these different aliases which makes me think was was um you know um i can't even remember the name uh, of of the dude but uh like his ancestor was general pickens was it him because we see at one point of in history where you know uh, tabitha ghost you know parzival pickens is dressed up as uh you know um as uh was it uh whatever pickens or whatever i forget the name right now uh you know uh i i forget but you guys know who i'm talking about so i just thought that was very interesting that he was dressed up as uh Gen i think it was general pickens or whatever so that that's very interesting to me thinking is it just the same person and with immortality or whatever we don't really know yet on what's really going on with that um but you know the end result of all of this is that we get to the point of that pot like the, the main thing that parzival has tried taking out throughout this throughout his years of being in riverdale is he wants to take out the heart and soul of riverdale which is pop's chocolate shop meaning he said it was going to go you know right in down the heart um of you know right through the heart of riverdale which is pop's chocolate shop so he wants to take out the symbol that gathers and rallies everybody he wants to snuff out that light so he can take over riverdale because tabitha goes to the future and sees the outcome if that ends up happening and it's literally like you know it's uh ash everywhere it's it's like you know it's abandoned it's like it's 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 just no one's no life is there anymore it's like he's gotten what he like uh, he's gotten you know he achieved his goal so that was very interesting to me where like you know the even you know uh you know uh tabitha's you know uh you know angel Raphael takes different forms it takes jughead's form somebody familiar to her so it wouldn't be like because if she sees his actual true form she'll go insane and she'll and like and she'll she'll like break down in madness so he like takes forms of people that tabitha knows like first we get jughead secondly i think we get tony third we get uh betty i think which was very cool to see the different forms that the angel took of her friends and, and, and someone familiar that Tabitha knew it and could, you know, and, and like, and wouldn't be too, like, shocked if it was somebody else that, you know, she wouldn't trust. So I thought that was very cool that the, the, the angel, like, chose her, fr like, uh, forms of her friends. I thought that was very cool. But I just really like how, like, we kind of know now that you know we we get everybody rallying together at the end we get you know archie we get betty we get cheryl and we get jughead all trying to figure out what they need to do to get uh you know to get parzival out of there and it seems like it's the same person throughout the years it seems like there's only been one you know uh general pickens or whatever and there's only been one bloodline of pickens and at least that's what it seems like and it is parzival pickens he's just went under different aliases throughout his bloodline it's been the same person it seems like that's what i'm we're kind of that's that's what i'm understanding so i'm just excited to see if that's true or not and he just has some sort of immortality because he had these different like he had this one knife that was uh, what that what it seems like uh that one angel said that was stabbed in the side of jesus and then the other the 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 uh they had the the what was it like uh the cup that was at the uh at the at the uh, the last supper it seems like that's what i'm understanding so it seems like is 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 like parzival pickens some sort of like god or something i don't know 
we don't really know what's going on we just kind of know that is it might be the same person because he did dress up as general pickens and trying to fight tabitha which again tabitha's name changed every time she went through time because she every time she jumped through time she was still working at pop's chocolate shop so she kind of got to see you know pops like grow up as she kept jumping to different forms of time and she was just and she just had a different name tag and she went they you know i mean but she kept working at pops because i mean she is tethered to pops and she found out that like she is tethered to pops and that's kind of like a way for her to come back from her jumping through the future or going to the past that her being tethered to pops is what makes her be able to go back to the present period that she is from i thought that was very cool too so i'm just excited to see how this is all going to go especially because like every time parzival like whether he'd be an fbi agent whether it be a, a sheriff or whatever he went by different aliases but every time he was always with kevin which i thought was very weird but maybe he oh, he made it his goal parzival every time he went through like different stages of the years of riverdale he always chose kevin as his minion it seems like because we have our kevin is his minion and we've seen all the other times throughout the throughout the past kevin's been his minion but under a different alias which i thought was very interesting so is it always just something he does it's like a routine he does is he always gets kevin as like his his minion his kind of like henchman i don't know i'm just excited to see where this is gonna go and how this is all gonna play out because also like tapitha like said that the angel which is you know which which then it was uh the, her her angel's name is Raphael, said that you know some forms are set in stone of of what's supposed to happen some events which you know martin luther king's death is something you can't prevent it's supposed to happen it's set in stone and that was very hard because you know tapitha wanted to go warn you know martin luther king of what was about to happen and that was very sad because she she knew she couldn't do it because it's set in stone and it's supposed to happen things are supposed to be set in a certain way because of of, of how the events are supposed to play out and i can only imagine how hard that would have been to not do that because that's what any of us would have would have tried to do but we all know the we all know uh the difficulties of going to the future and wanting to change and when like are going to the past and wanting to change the predictable outcome of what's going to happen in the future and you know what i mean there will be there'll be uh you know uh there'll be uh what is it there'll be um there's a word for it there'll be uh there'll, there'll, there'll be like uh changes if, if if we were to do that how maybe for the for the worst or whatever so you know what i mean it's like time travel is very weird and you know what I mean? That's what the angel was trying to explain. The Tabitha is saying things are supposed to happen, things are set in stone, some events, and that's something you can't change. And I was just like, damn, I just that would really suck. You know what I mean? And I just, I just loved how we got this thing that like we got, we have an understanding now on why he's really going after Tabitha and why he really wants to take out Pops because he knows that that is the heart and soul of Riverdale. Hence the whole him saying it's going to go straight down in the heart, the heart of Riverdale is the you know is the railroad so that's just very interesting to me especially why would you want to build a railroad in like modern day i that doesn't make sense to me you see you know what i mean it's kind of like riverdale stuck in like you know what i mean back in the day but also it's like in the present you know what i mean it's, it's very weird the way they did it but i do like the way they did it at the same time it's just weird that they want to build a railroad why don't you just build a road i feel like that would make a little bit more sense instead of building a railroad but hey it is what it is um i just like how like we kind of uh, kind of have an understanding that he, that's his mission that's his goal is he wants to take out the last line of defense of rallying people and giving people hope is pop's chocolate shop because pops has been that symbol of hope throughout the years and i love the way they explained that and that's why i'm you know i'm, I'm just pissed that again veronica really wasn't trying to be like no you know there's a way to to save this or everybody rally together especially it's very out of character i felt like archie not wanted like it, he just took a loss against parzival as like him having a way to to sit out of things no dude you, you need to keep you need to keep pushing regardless if he has some stone that makes you not invulnerable you you still have the capability to fight back whether it be you still getting hurt if you fight you could still fight it's not like you're crumbling at your knees and you can't move at all no you know what i mean that's not like it's that's not the way palladium is set in the writing it's that you know it just makes you un invulnerable it makes you vulnerable 
I just hate that writing. It's like they screwed up on that writing because they clearly specified because he, he wasn't falling at his knees when that when the black hood, not the black hood, Jesus, that the trash bag killer, if that was the trash bag killer, brought him the palladium. He wasn't falling at his knees, not being able to, you know, to, you know, to, you know, to even stand, you know what I mean? It's like, it, it just, the writing makes no sense because you clearly showed it's not like a kryptonite where you can't even bear to be around it. It just makes you you know, not invulnerable anymore, and I just hate that writing, how they made it seem like he just lost all capability of losing his boxing technique, and just took all the beating, when he could have still fought back, I just hate that, um, but yeah, I just really liked this episode, guys, I thought that was very clever, the way they did things, I thought it was very clever to give us an understanding of, like, what Parzival's, like, goal is, because we really didn't know what he was trying to do, and it's funny, because he, did you notice, he was, he was trying to go after the people he had, even, even like back in the back in like having everybody's ancestors, but he was going after everybody's ancestors as he is going after you know Betty, Jughead, Archie, Tony, Fangs, and um and Tabitha. He's going after the same people even back in the day, all their ancestors. I thought that was very funny that he's kind of like he was going after everybody. You know what I mean? After the bloodline of everybody that he had on the on the photo. Which I don't again, I don't think Cheryl was on there on the list of people he wanted to go after. I think it was just Tony, Tabitha, um, Fangs, Archie, Betty, Jughead, and I think also it might have been Veronica, I think. Um, but yeah, that's very interesting to me. Um, but I feel like he's only going after the people that, you know, that have a bloodline that was in Riverdale, which I which I don't know if that, if again, if Veronica was on there or not, but who knows? But we know he's when he's trying to manipulate Veronica. He's tried to. He's not went after Veronica. He's tried manipulating her to like help him in in his in his uh, mission to take out like to destroy Riverdale. Because we we already knew he doesn't want to save Riverdale. He wants to destroy it because that's just what he loves to do. It seems like he's just wants to be a reign of terror and be the same. And he's the same person. It seems like, and he just has this immortality it seems like so i'm just excited to see where this is gonna go i'm excited to see like we're getting our avengers team up mo moment right now everybody getting together cheryl archie betty jughead tabitha we're getting our avengers assemble moment where everybody's getting together and their last line of defense is pops chocolate chop same as kind of how like the last line of defense of a battle that went down, it was in Avengers Endgame at the Avengers Compound, so I find it funny that we're kind of getting that moment, I wonder if we're gonna have, like, a big fight that happens, maybe at Pop's Chocolate Shop, outside, maybe, that would be very interesting, if we get some cool, like, fight scene, that would be sick, um, I don't know how people, if people would like that or not, I would get, like, some, you know, some people may think it's cheesy that's going out, going outside in front of Pop's Chocolate Shop, but that seems like to be the last line of defense of, of, uh, and the last, the thing that Parzival needs to cross off on his list is to take out Pop's Chocolate Shop, and then he'll get, you know, he'll get what he wants. It's kind of like if his version of him taking out Pop's Chocolate Shop is like, is like Thanos' version of taking out the Avengers at the Avengers compound as like the last line and symbol of hope. So I just kind of like that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I'm just excited for next week's episode, guys. I think it's going to be really cool. I'm going to end it down in the comments below what you guys thought about this episode. Um, did you guys like it? W and let me know, guys, what what things you guys didn't like about this episode. Did you guys did you guys agree? Do you guys agree with me on what I thought about how some things like of Tabitha kind of like forgetting that she's already been told about their abilities, and then she was kind of shocked when she heard about Jughead's abilities. It's like that. Did you guys forget that Tabitha knew? Because I highly doubt that Jughead wouldn't have told Tabitha about everybody else's abilities. You know what I'm saying? I just don't buy it. Especially, I don't understand in the first place why they're keeping it hidden from from Veronica. Why they would even keep it hidden from, you know, um, why would Jughead would even keep it hidden from Tabitha if he did before? And also, again, Tabitha knew about his abilities, so why was she so shocked to find out he had abilities in this episode? It's just the writers, I feel like, are forgetting what what continuity they're putting in the show. And it's like they think we're dumb, I feel like, when we're not and we know when you when you write something in and you guys kind of try to rewrite it as an episode goes on or later down the line in the series as it goes on. I just hate that. Um, let me know how you guys feel about that. But yeah, guys, again, here, if you're new to the channel, subscribe to the channel, put on those notifications, like this video, love to have you guys here, a part of the fam, a part of the channel. We're all about spreading love, positivity, and motivation. And guys, literally, as, as, as I speak, we are literally at... 
I think we're at 488, almost to 500 subscribers. So literally, we're almost at 490. Literally, almost to 500. So yet again, if you're new, if you've uh, come across my channel before, I would just love it if you subscribe to the channel, put those notifications, like this video, come join here, this fam on this channel. Because you guys, you know, I, I'm I'm really trying to achieve my dreams and my dream and my goal is is to hit 500. My dream is to hit like a uh, you know, thousand subscribers one day, and and I would love to make this channel one of the biggest channels on YouTube. That is my goal, and I will achieve that goal. Uh, with your help guys so that's why i'm really trying to grow this fam here on this channel um and yeah guys um if you're if you are new here to the channel there's a lot of stuff i i, I have to offer here on this channel so go check it out go explore the channel um i do a lot of things here on the channel again if you're if you're new here um and i would just love it again if you if you are new here um i, I welcome you to the fan uh, to the fam and i hope you join but um guys that was the video i hope everybody has a great day a safe day and i'll see you guys next time i'll see you guys actually next uh, yeah, next Sunday for Riverdale episode 12. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.